we're just showing you these because they're going to play an important part in what I was saying. I'm going to try and give you a couple of tips. Now, most people might know most of them. A couple of tips that might help, just might help a little bit in a way you do scratch cards. Uh, might save you a bit of money, might earn you a little bit of money, you might do something good. Um, it's just to, just to improve, perhaps a couple of tips, just to improve the chances. There. Hold on, let's uh, go and see. Yeah. yeah, just to improve the chances, maybe. I mean, it's up to you what you do. Um, it's like a lot of things, really. But um, let's, hold on, I've got to pause it again and get something with the percentage. Now, um, <clears throat> the things are that I do, that I don't do, I do and don't, uh, first of all, well a lot of people uh, buy cards in bulk, a lot of the scratch card people, uh, sometimes like a whole pack, because they want to win, but they know more likely they're going to lose, but they're going to win something, if you buy a few cards here and there, there's a chance you're not going to win much, and you might not win much at all, uh, depending on how many cards you buy, you know, you can't go out and buy 200 pounds worth of cards, you might win like 30 pounds back. But if you buy a whole pack, which is about 250 if you buy a five pound pack or something like that, um, then, then uh, usually you get 125, 150, might be 190 back. Unless you get the big jackpot, of course. If you get 100 pound in, in a, if you get 100 pound win, usually in a, a pack, you might think, oh, I'm onto a winner here, but the other the other wins then are smaller, getting to the end, so it works out you still overall haven't won on that pack. So anyway, uh, the tactics, re and it pig, you there? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, buy bulk, yeah. Instead of going in and buying a single card. Then going back, when that don't win and buy another single card, and papers go back in there and buy another one, and things like that, you just buy a strip of three, four, five, whatever you're going to fold. And, because what they do, the scratch card people, they do lay winners in all through their uh, packs. Of course, there's a lot of losers in between. And the losers are most likely the odd ones you go in and buy one off. You can win. I mean, you could pick one of the winners, but because there's so many losers and only a few winners, you've got a little chance. But you buy a little roll of three, four, or five, or whatever you can afford. Then you've got a little bit better chance of winning. Set. You may still not win your money back, but you've got a win there, and it makes you feel a bit better. If you bought two cards and went out and none of them won, you'd feel a bit gay. But if you bought four cards and went out and won half your money back, even you think, well, sod that, I've won half, I'm getting out. It's a bit like playing the fruit machines, really. You uh, you might be a hundred pound down on a fruit machine, and you get fifty pound or sixty pound in your bank back. Do you play all that back in, or do you think, wow, you know, I've got sixty, I put hundred in, but I can cut my losses and go. That's what you do. That's what I do. I never let my fruit machines run dry. If I put hundred pound through it, and I've got like. Uh, 50, 60 in there and I think it ain't played very well, I'll get off. Now I was down the casino, when I used to go down the casino years ago, they first of all bought these, these, uh, when the licenses laws started to change, it used to be, first of all, 25p a go on these fruit machines and <clears throat> um, the jackpots was £250. You used to go up there and take nudges or you can take wind spins or you can go on around the board and things like that. And you can hold them and nudge the nudge the reels, hold the reels and what. And they were 25p a game and they were 250 pound jackpots. And that means if you're stuck in 100 or 150 pound, you thought, oh no, what have I done? If you've got a jackpot, you'll get all your money back and you'll be in front. Right, so they fir first of all changed it over. It went to 50p. They bought in these new ones. This was a dragon one like a Chinese one for Chinese people down at casino, but they had a few others there. But what I did, what I did, I thought, 
Look, it's 50p a go, it's a thousand pound jackpot. A thousand, thousand pound. Now, you go in these fruit machine places, they're 500 and you've got to play two pound most times. Anyway, thousand pound jackpots they were. So what I thought, I thought, what I'll do, I'll put a thousand pound through it, because they had banks in, and they had the money you put in. Nowadays, it all goes into one bank, so you tend to use the money you win. So when you win, it goes into the same bank as where your money is. So you're pumping away, and you don't stop. But in the times, they had a bank, and they had, so everything you won went into that bank, and you didn't spend it unless you wanted to. So what I thought I'd do, I'd put a thousand pound through the machine. I might get the jackpot and I might not, but I want to see what it wins. So off I go, put in the money, you know, a thousand pound, and I'm, I'm putting it in, 50 pence a press. You can't go up, you can't go down, it was just 50p, no two pound or one pound or anything else. So I'm pressing away, and it's going on for a long while. I mean, a thousand pound is 2,000 presses, so I had a good game, loads of wins, everything going up, no jackpot, I'm afraid, at this time. Anyway, I ended up in my bank about £825. But a lovely game I had. Oh, I lost a few hundred. Oh, I lost £175. Uh, but it was a gamble. And what I did is I'm, I said to myself, whatever's in that bank, I'll take and go. I will not gamble anymore. The thousands going in, what's in the bank. I wanted to see what it would be like. No jackpot come up, or otherwise that would have been 1,800 or something, you know. But no, but, you know, I was happy to have got a game of that and see what it's like. And, uh, you know, I did play again like that once later, but uh, don't matter, does it? I still won about the same amount of money back, but this was like, I thought I'd have another go late, uh, you know, like later in, in the year or something, you know. And, uh, but it was quite good. <clears throat> there was... Um, there were some machines down there, by the way, that um, when they first came in, they were paying a thousand pound jackpots out. And me and this other chap, we worked out that uh, uh, because I'm always a worker out, I never just go in and do things. I puzzle them out. Anyway, these these uh, jackpots, we worked out that they come out about nine days every nine days. The jackpot. There was eleven machines down there, by the way. There was another pair of people doing the similar thing. They worked out as well. So every nine days, now you had to have someone there or be, be there, be there most times to make sure no jackpots come out on these machines during the week in case one fell out accidentally. Because if they did, then you couldn't get it. But if you, we used to go on them, uh, about, well, nine days, nine days we used to go on them, and uh, we have sometimes put in three, four, five hundred pounds and a thousand pounds come out, sometimes we put in only eighty pounds or so, and a thousand pounds come out. What we used to do is every win we got out of the machine, you used to play it back in, play it back in, and it worked, it worked. Uh, we was like you know, getting, uh, when, when you press the button to get the thousand pound out, it would come out in coins. It filled the tray up with 500 pounds of coins. You had this bucket, they gave you a bucket, you had a bucket, and you had to put all the coins in the bucket, and then press it again, and another 500 would come out. So you had these two buckets, and you go over to the uh, desk, and you say, oh, look, I've got this, and they'd put it through a machine, you'd hear it going, as it's counting them, and they'd come up with a pink pack, full of 20 pound notes, 1,000 pound. They'd bang it like that, flatten it, and it'd be a pink one, and they'd give you it instead of the thing. But that that used to happen roughly nine, every nine days, and uh, that went on for some time. And uh, the other two people that were there, one of them um, bought a little flat with the money he worked out that he could get out of these machines. Bought a, another one, uh, Pat his name was, he uh, bought himself a new, uh, the new Volkswagen car with what you put a flower in the dashboard. <laughs> I'll see him, uh, I'll see him betting on the roulette. Um, this Pat, he used to put on like 
a thousand pound on red or a thousand pound in on, on black in the pack in the pack in the pink pack and he'd either win or lose and if he lost his money he, what he bought might have bought eight thousand or something I don't know you'd see him shoot home and go to his house and come back with a load more because they wouldn't put it in the bank they didn't put it in the bank they didn't declare it for some reason I don't know but they'd come back and he'd have loads more where he's won it all on the machines over the months and months because they were more dedicated than even me uh, they, they they lived for machines, these other people. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen him playing blackjack with a pack of uh, black 25-pound chips, just betting them on those dead man. They had money in the kiosk there at the casino, so behind. So they could just come in with no money and say to them, I want a 1,000, and they'd give them a chitty to sign, and they'd give them the 1,000, and then they'd go and play. And, and, and the, uh, the restaurant there, the restaurant, uh, they and us and us we used to have breakfast and everything there and we just signed for it because we were like they thought was as big players but they they had uh, three course meals and everything and they they just lived like kings and I used to know them when they went to a bingo and they didn't have two pennies to rub together and they used to know how to empty a, a fruit machine an old fashioned fruit machine they used to empty it out and they were barred from the cas uh, casino for emptying it out, you know. They used to be able to empty it out. But when I saw them down the casino once, they didn't have any money at all until these uh, £1,000 machines came in. And then they had them. They had them. Anyway, that's the story of Gone By. Now, look, I'm going to give you little clues. Nothing special. But, like I say, uh, might be better to buy... If you're going to go in and buy one here and one there and there. But uh, another thing is, <clears throat> if you're in a shop, if you're in a shop and you're you're seeing someone scratching some cards to try and get some money there and then on the desk, and he's got about four, five or six, and he goes through, and he don't win. Look at the cards, see from a distance. We don't buy any more and he walks out, right. You go up, you can buy, I would buy a few of them. And with this knowledge that he hasn't won, and he's bought about five or six, there's got to be a win sooner or later. Uh, you can so you can chat to the bloke behind the counter, talking to him, and stay in there and watching people. If you want to be a little bit creepy, staying there, making out you're talking to him, or have a conversation why people are buying scratch cards, see what ones they buy, if they scratch them there, and then you you can see what they scratch. If they win, they win. If they don't, well, you think I've got a chance, you know. But uh, that's up to you whether you do that. Um, there was a bloke I knew. He was a, a Indian or Pakistani. He ran a sweet shop. And he did that. Every time people bought... He used to mainly concentrate on the £5 cards and the £10 cards. But when people bought them, he watched them. And if they scratched them off in the shop, they might buy two or three £10 cards, scratch them off in the shop. Now, he shouldn't do this. He shouldn't do this because he works out. He owns the shop, but he did do it, and what he did, he let them scratch off three or four of them, and they're not winning, and perhaps the next one will come in and buy one or two, he had one win, he had buy one, he might buy two, and he had scratch them off, and he got wins, you should tell me he got wins, one time he got a win, he just scratched off, he knew where the uh, code was, so he'd scratch the code off and click it. If it didn't win, he'd have to pay the tenner or whatever he has to pay the lot of he paid. Or just that, uh, like it's one. But then he'd click the next one. And it, one time he clicked it, he said it was a win. But my place said, you can't be paid at a sweet shop. You've got to go to the post office or get on to Camelot. So he sent his wife to the post office. And it was a £1,000. Right? He was telling me this. And because he worked in the place, he could see him. I mean, you shouldn't do it, but I bet, <laughs> bet he ain't the only one that does it. I bet they're all doing it. You go in there and do it in front of them. You do it in front of them, scratch it away, and then walk out the door and say, oh, I bet they pick a couple out. I think, I'll, I'll t I'll, especially if it's like a, a couple of five, they've done about three five-pound cards and not one. You think, oh, I'll risk a tenner and get two, and he get two out, scratch them all. And one of them's a winner. It might only be 20 or 30 or 40 pounds, but it's a winner, you know, sooner or later. So they must have done that. Anyway, the tips are, 
like I say, you can watch people or you can hang around, like they do at the fruit machines. They stand around the fruit machines and watch a play. If you don't win, you walk out or you're losing. They go on afterwards. It's the same idea. You don't like it there, but they do it. They do it. You've got to watch it, you know, but you can do it yourself. If you're just behind someone and he buys a couple and scratches them, two or three of them and scratches them off, and you think, oh, look, he's, he's had three, five pen cards, and then, well, no, I'll have a couple of them and try it. You know, you still get, you're still risking it, but you've got a better chance or so. Tipping the odds in your favour. Someone's going to win it if you don't. Um, now, if you, if you do have losing tickets, Keep them and check them. Have them checked by the shop. I can't. I have too many. If I went with the ones I win and the ones I lose, I mean, I've got a bin load here. I put them in the bin. If anyone says to me online, I saw you miss a win, I'll get them out of the bin. But you should check them, especially now because they make them so hard. Them pharaohs and um, other games, them jewel smashes, you can miss wins. And the idea is they like you to miss wins because if you don't win that money, it's theirs. So if they make them as complicated as possible, then they're laughing if you miss. So they're all right there. I'll show you the bin. Hold on, let me pause it. There we are. Goes all the way down. All the way down in that bin. But that's the tip of the iceberg. I do throw some actually away in the bin bin, you know, in the bigger bin. Just throw them in the bin. But they're the ones that, that really should be checked. But then nothing to what I've got piled away in. I've thrown away. I, I just thrown away now. If you, if it was a win and I've missed it, I've missed it. I don't know it was a win. Oh, I don't know. So I won't, I won't cry. Um, uh, you know it's possibilities. Uh, but, you know, I, I, can't, I can't go to the Sainsbury's and say, check those for us, mate. Well, you know, I'll be back in a month and you can tell me whether any won. I've got loads more. I'll bring another 2,000 in when they're done. <laughs> you can't get doing that. I mean, I've taken loads of wins, but I don't with the losses. I mean, I should check them, but who's going to go through checking them? I'm not. Right, um... So. Right, OK. Well, you've got to keep to your budget. That's the one thing. So, with me, I do it as a scratch card game. So I'm prepared to spend a certain amount of money, uh, more or less sometimes. I don't really care. It's the money's no problem, see, so I'm not care. But the point is, some people should keep their budget. If you if you want to spend uh, five a week, then you know, five a week, keep to it. Even if you lose, you think, oh, I wish I'd, you know, I won another one or something. You have to wait. It's better because there's other things to buy. Mind you, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I've now parked my car up because I don't need it. So I've got it off-road. I don't pay no insurance now. I've cancelled that. I've, I, I've got that on old. The AA, I've got it on old. The uh, tax, I've got it as that soul or something or other. And uh, I, I, so I've, I don't have any expenses. You know, not real guttering expenses. I've made sure I'm in a good position, see. So... When I buy cards, that's one little luxury and one little sort of hobby, I call it an hobby really, that I enjoy doing. I'm making the videos and letting you enjoy it and that's what, that's my bit. So I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Um, that will go. Yeah, now another thing is I do, now I pick a certain amount of, now they're bringing out cards so much now that a lot of people, especially sketch card people, they go out and buy one of these, one of them, two of them, one of them, one of them, two of them, two of them, one of them. And they spread their money over loads. Well, if you do that, and they're bringing out more all the time now, they just brought out four, aren't they? A £10 one, a, a £3 one, a, a £1 one, a £2 one, you know, a blue one, and five times, and all that. Uh, you know, this one, this one, five top, and others, and others, and they're bringing them out all the time. So what they're trying to do is make you think, I'll have one of those, I'll have one of those, one of those, one of those. Well, buying ones of each, yes, you could pick up a win, but you know, in a roll, there's loads of winners, and then comes one, uh, loads of losers, rather, and then comes one winner. Loads of losers and one winner. Maybe ten cards in between before a winner comes. So, uh, what they do, they bring out loads and loads of cards, so you go one there, one there, one there, one there. So you've got a real chance of losing, picking the losing cards, 
Someone's got to pick the winning cards, but you've got a real chance of taking home, say you buy 20 pairs of cards, but you go all over the place. You'd be very lucky to win one card, and maybe two, and get a couple of pounds on here, and a pound or two on that one, and then you ain't got your money back. So they know that. But you buy. Now what I do, now what I do, now you notice I very rarely, and this people ask me, or Nick picks it, uh, I don't buy anything like the Monopoly, I don't buy anything like um, Mega, Mega Wins, things, um, and uh, the Bingo, I don't buy the Bingo, I don't buy uh, any, any of the two pound cars except the Fortune one and the Circle one, the, um, uh, what's it called, you know, like balls I think, the other one, and um, I mean, if I like the cards, I concentrate on them only. Now the idea is, if I go to Sainsbury's and I buy three or four cards of the same one out of a pack, and none of them won. Now, all right, they've sold some in between, but I go back the next day and I buy more and I buy more and I buy more until I still keep spending your money all over the place. I keep buying until wins come up. And sometimes you catch wins after wins, you know what I mean? And once you get a win, you get a big win. Don't go back and buy any from there. Buy other cards from there, but go to another shop and buy the favourite card. Now, I, I only have a few cards that I really, really like. Now, the ones I buy are these ones, these uh, luxury lines. I have been buying a couple of these lately, the £10 ones, but they may drop off. The five, uh, £2 ones, I like the sevens, winning sevens. I don't. I like the Cash Spectacular, the £5 one, and, and the... 500 one, the uh, full of 500s, not that it's great, but there's a chance of winning 500. They're the three I concentrate on. If you notice, you very rarely see another card in my scratching. All right, I put a few uh, two pound cards and I stick to certain ones and I may even add a few others, but yeah, that's what I do. You know, I mean, if you concentrate on a certain group of cards instead of spending your money over loads of them, you've got a better chance. You have got you got to tilt it into your favour. It don't mean you're going to win, but it's uh, it's better. Um, yeah, and well, yeah, well, scratch cards are a game of luck, of course. They, they, they are a game of luck, and um, what have I got here? No, they're, they're a game of luck, but you can, you can, you again, yeah. Um, I, I feel because I've got some notes here, so I don't forget. But there is methods and little strategies that you could use to tilt it in your favour slightly. There's no guarantee of winning, no guarantee at all. No guarantee. I won that the other day, it's a five times on there. I won't show you because it's coming in another video. I forgot, the, when I did it in the video, I forgot to scratch the rest of them off. So I will do that in the next video, I won't do it this way, I'll do it in the next scratch card video. But look, the ten times, now, the more that you spend, the, the better the chances of big wins, of course. So if you, if these these ones here, for instance, from Poundland, I must admit, for a little game, yes. But for winning prizes, crap. Don't buy them if you want money. Yeah, you win a pound, two pound and four pound, but you won't win much more. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you win the three, four pound. On the two on the two pound cards, well, you look at you got to read the backs, the percentage wise. It says like on the one pound cards, for instance, right on the backs of them, it's like one chance in six point four point sixty one. Well, it's nearly every five they've got a pound, they've got a win, and not a pound, it could be anything. But it don't mean you buy six and you get a win out of that. No, you might go 20 and then you get two wins or three wins or something like that. You know, it's like, but the point is that six, 4.61, right? So that's nearly one in five. Now on the uh, two pound cards, that's, that's um, like one in four just over. One in 4.27, it says on the back of this one. So one in four, it goes down a bit. See, so the higher you pay, the better chances, don't mean you're going to win. And the three pound card, for instance, is 3.74, one in 3.74. And the 10 pound is like one in three, really, 3.19. So every uh, three of these you buy, in theory, you'd win, but you won in practice. But if you bought nine, 
you might only win one if you're lucky anyway, even buying nine, that's 90. So if you bought hundreds, you might only buy, you'd get £20 back. But what I'm saying is, you know, the bigger the prizes are, I mean, the bigger the money you buy, the bigger the cards you pay for, the better the prizes at the end. You're never going to get rich on these, on the five times. You will get 30s and 50s and 10s and 5s, but you'll get thousands and hundreds and 200s and all that on there, and you may get a jackpot. Well, that's it, really. I just thought I'd come and tell you a few things. Uh, it's really using using a bit of intelligence when you buy. Don't just go in and say, oh, I like the look of that. I have one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. And they go, 20, 30 quid, and you just give me it. And you've got one of each. You might just go, I'll have four of them, three of them, two of them, three of them. And then you've got a better chance. for seven. But don't pick so many different cards. Stick to ones you like. But They keep bringing them out like mad. You'll be forever buying them. Oh, no pig. What you got to say, anyway? Eh? <laughs> you gonna say you better say tell, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go off now with a drink. We're a bit thirsty now. I thought I'd come on and tell you. A bit of fun, isn't it? it might help. Well what can I say? Tiny bubbles in the water. Who make me feel fine? Tiny bubbles. Oh, and make me warm all over. Will the feeling of gonna love you again? Get out there. Oh, so is to the golden moon. And mostly, here's a toast to you and me. Oh, 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 oh. well, if you want the cost, tiny bubble, tiny bubble in the wine, making me happy, make me happy. Oh, make me feel fine. Don't look at me, tiny bubble. if you want but you don't need to I just want you to come on and do this nice long video I hope you enjoyed it cheers oh 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 piggy you're one